Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Today is December 23rd, 2019. Please like subscribe and share to help support our channel. Don't be left behind. The 12 days of Christmas sale is almost over. Use the promo code FEDENARIAN and receive an additional $10 off the already discounted sale price. Invest in yourself and your family's well-being this Christmas. Also, be sure to follow me on both Facebook and Twitter as I am posting important information you need to know on those platforms throughout the day. The links are in the description box below. I encourage you, stay informed and stay alert, knowledge is power. And know that today we are one day closer than yesterday. First article of interest for today, security expert. Washington seeks to form an emergency government that will radically change Iraq. Security expert Ahmed al-Sharifi revealed on Sunday, December 22, 2019, the presence of American moves to form an emergency government in Iraq, pointing out that the country is on the verge of radical changes. Al-Sharifi said in an interview with Baghdad Today that Iraq is still under international guardianship under international law which keeps the project and the political path in Iraq under the eyes of the United States of America. He added that Iraq has reached the stage of political stubbornness, as the government has failed to perform its tasks and programs since the beginning of the formation of the current government and until now, indicating that Abdul Mahdi's resignation from his post and the failure to find a substitute by President Barim Saleh and the parliament. And with continued demonstrations in Baghdad and some provinces, it became necessary to go to the option of the emergency government. Al-Sharifi explained that the withdrawal of American forces from Syria towards Iraq, the intensification of the technical effort in Erbil, and the presence of the ground forces in three bases, namely Ain al-Assad, Habaniya and Kayara, indicates that Washington is heading to take Iraq as a vital field and consider it part of its national security, after strengthening its presence in the country. The security expert pointed out that the United States seeks to make Iraq a strategic ally by forming an emergency government close to Washington in order to find fundamental change in the country. Next article of interest. Calls to develop the banking system and promote development. Specialists in banking affairs called for the need to develop the Iraqi banking system to enhance its contribution to financing investment projects, while they presented a set of proposals to restore confidence between the citizen and private banks that coincide with the voices of the Iraqi street demanding real economic reform that addresses the problems of development advancement and provides a better life for Iraqi society. The former head of the National Private Banking Association Abdelaziz Hassoun, said in an interview with Al Saba, banks in general, whether private or governmental, whose mission is known as to attract deposits and operate funds with known mechanisms through lending or financial support, but the problem is that private banks in Iraq have turned to banking and foreign exchange business, and this is mainly outside the banking norm, and that banks do not deal in buying and selling foreign currencies except that the challenges in Iraq generally prevent banks from carrying out their normal duties in financing the market and revitalizing economy. Monetary Authority He added that the development of the banking system is one of the duties of a group of authorities, foremost of which is the Monetary Authority, when its supervision and supervision over the banking system are completely safe, reliable and acceptable to the business of the banks noting that banks in order to restore the public's confidence must provide them with what reassure him to encourage him to deal with her. Economic Policy In turn, the expert in banking affairs, Salem al-Bayati, said in an interview with al Saba, some of the private banks in Iraq have become far from their real tasks and their work is limited to selling and buying the dollar. This is due to the absence of economic policy in Iraq because financial institutions are part of the policy. Economic, pointing out that the profits of banks in Iraq go to people or a group of people and thus make these people do not think about economic policy for the country. National income, between that, the Iraqi banking sector is not creating an economic addition to the national and national income, and there are no credits 
so many private banks have been subject to what is called oversight, control, hand control, or trusteeship because of the absence of effective oversight over work. Banks. He explained that there are a set of proposals to advance the banking sector and restore citizens' confidence in private banks, which is the need to draw a clear economic policy and identify institutions each according to their role, as well as complete legislation and related laws, and prevent non-fulfilling workers and be in accordance with integrated conditions. In addition to undertaking restructuring and evaluation these banks and monitoring their performance, therefore, some of them can be closed or merged according to the international banking standards. Beneficiary Need The expert on financial affairs, Ghazi al Kanani, stated that the evaluation of banks cannot be made according to the capital alone, but we must look at the services that are provided and the extent of their development and how much they meet the needs of the beneficiary, whether it is a company or a citizen. He pointed out that the major economic blocks around the world owns various disciplinary banks with small, medium and large capital, and provides advanced services, which makes it imperative for us to benefit from those experiences that have achieved major successes in this field and have supported economy. Next article of interest. Demonstrations in Najaf. Warning, four conditions and an unprecedented threat will be launched next Sunday. The demonstrators of Najaf issued a statement today, Sunday, against the background of reports that challenged the attribution of the position of Prime Minister to the candidate of the Construction Alliance Qusay al-Suhail, while threatening to take unprecedented steps that start from next Sunday. The following is the text of the statement, statement of a number of Najaf unions, universities, and activists. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. At a time when the Iraqi sit ends in peaceful demonstrations in order to reform the country and their sacrifices that have caused killing, sniping and various forms of violence, have resulted in the martyrdom of more than 500 citizens, and the wounding of more than 20,000 others. The ruling political forces are still insisting on procrastination, procrastination and the overriding of their interests it is in the interest of the Iraqi people and the demands announced by the revolutionaries and supported by the supreme authority of reference. These forces still cling to their chairs stained with the blood of martyrs and wounded, and use assassination and kidnapping methods for activists and demonstrators, and procrastinate to pass a prime minister from the corridors of their suspicious deals, and these forces still wish to deceive the people with an election law that renews the rise of their thieves again to power, and still talks about the dates are very far away from the elections in order to gain time and rebuild their ranks after the unity, peacefulness and awareness of the peaceful demonstrators disperse them. But we are deceived, quiet and silent. We say it with a clear voice. We warn you against procrastination and procrastination. We know your games, and we know very well from the beginning of the demonstrations all your attempts to stay in power, using a prime minister from your parties to serve you and cover up for you and an election law that restores your dulling faces to us. Accordingly, we confirm the following. 1. Within the current week, the fair election law announced by the sit in squares in Iraq must be enacted in multiple districts within the governorate according to population density 1 seat per 100,000 people, 100% 100 individual nomination, and the candidate with more than 51% of votes in the constituency. 2. The political forces must accelerate the selection of the head of the transitional government in light of the conditions announced by the sit in squares more than once, and that the president and the ministers be from outside the corridors of the ruling parties. 3. Announcing a specific date for early elections not to exceed six months. 4. The elections should be under the supervision of the United Nations. Otherwise, the square of the Najaf sit-in will call for an unprecedented peaceful escalation, which begins with a general strike for one day, next Sunday, 29th December 2019, in which unions, different segments of society, and students who are already striking from the beginning of our demonstrations, will participate, and the strike includes departments and institutions governmental, even health except for emergency departments that pertain to critical situations and necessary service institutions.
then it will be wider and with an increasing period of time based on the level of response of the political forces to the demands of the people, and the peaceful escalation may reach comprehensive civil disobedience. Procrastination will not help you if you knew. A number of Najaf unions, universities, and activists. Next article of interest. Announcing the formation of the Electoral Commission Board in Iraq. The Supreme Judicial Council of Iraq announced today, Monday, the election of seven judges to form the Council of the Independent High Electoral Commission for Iraq. Sources in the Supreme Judicial Council stated that, after the lottery was conducted by the Supreme Judicial Council, Judges Abbas Farhan Hassan, Jalal Adnan Khalif, Amr Musa Muhammad, Fayyad Hussein Yassin, Ali Rashid and State Advisors, Inam Yassin Muhammad and Fatah Muhammad Yassin, were chosen as members of the Electoral Commission Council. She explained that the Supreme Judicial Council in the Kurdistan region had been approached to send two candidates who met the conditions stipulated in the law representing the provinces of the region and the Commission Board. For the first time since the formation of the Electoral Commission after 2003 to administer the Iraqi elections, a commission council is formed of judges who are not represented in the major parties as was the custom to manage the upcoming elections. The formation of the Commission Board of Judges is considered in response to the demands of the protest demonstrations after the failure of the previous Commission's work. Next article of interest. A member of the Sadr Alliance talks about a surprise brought to him by Salih regarding the alternative of Abdul Mahdi. It will be known within 48 hours. On Monday, December 23rd, 2019, the deputy MP, Walkers, Amjad Alakabi revealed the intention of the President of the Republic, Baram Sali, today or tomorrow to announce an independent candidate for Prime Minister, whose name has already been put forward in the demonstrations. Alakabi said in an interview with Baghdad today, that, the President knew very well that marching is the largest block through the interpretation of the federal court yesterday which in turn presented an official and quick book to the President of the Republic by authorizing the protest grounds to choose the candidate for Prime Minister. He pointed out that, the President of the Republic was very understanding of the demands of the demonstrators and came under pressure from the Construction Alliance about their candidate Qusay al-Suhail. There was a debate yesterday between the leaders over the nomination of Qusay al-Suhail to the Prime Minister stressing that, Baran Saleh refused to nominate al-Suhail and said that he does not want to the blood of the Iraqi people was flowing and he was ready to submit his resignation to inject the blood that would flow in the event of the nomination of Qusay al-Suhail. He affirmed, the President of the Republic will announce today or tomorrow a decisive decision that will surprise everyone in a position that he deserves for life by presenting an independent candidate that satisfies the Iraqi people and is known to the Iraqis and not a political figure. It is noteworthy that the President of the Republic Baram Saleh has sent two books to the Presidency of Parliament and a letter to the Federal Court demanding that they identify the largest bloc. The response of the first Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Hassan Karim al kabi was that the largest bloc was the one that announced itself as the most numerous bloc during the first session of the parliament. The federal court had responded yesterday to the request of the President of the Republic, Baram Sali, regarding the largest parliamentary bloc. The President of the Republic, Baram Sali, asked the Supreme Federal Court to determine the largest bloc mentioned in Article 76 of the Constitution of the Republic of Iraq for the year 2005. He said, adding that, the court on Sunday morning, December 22, 2019, all of its members were received by the court on Thursday, December 19, 2019. Next article of interest. Urgent postponement of the parliament session until Tuesday. The presidency of the Council of Representatives postponed today's session to tomorrow, Tuesday, due to the lack of a quorum. A session of Parliament was scheduled to be held at 5 in the evening to complete the vote on the draft election law, but it seems that the continuing dispute between the political blocs, their lack of agreement on Articles 15 and 16 of the draft law, prevented the session from being held. Like and subscribe to be alerted as more articles of interest unfold.
Be sure to find me on Facebook and Twitter, so you don't miss a beat. Take advantage of the 12 Days of Christmas sale before it's over. Use the promo code FEDENARIAN for the additional discount on the already discounted price. Time is running out. Lock in your discount today. The link is in the description below. Stay informed and stay alert. Knowledge is power. And know that today we are one day closer than yesterday. Over and out for now. The Denarian.